Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Social Studies class and welcome to my YouTube channel. Of course, you know by now this is your teacher Mr. Clark and as usual I want to say a special welcome to those persons that are new to the channel and I want to encourage everyone to continue to like the videos, continue to share them with your family and your friends and those persons that are new, please ensure that you subscribe. Alright, now let us get straight into today's lesson. Our topic for today is human activities on the environment, right? So we will be focusing on our activities on our environment. What are some of the ways in which we have impacted our environment, right? So what are the activities that we are involved in and how have they changed our environment, right? So I think it is important, first of all, for us to remind ourselves of what things were like before human interference right before we started to use to make use of our environment or in some cases misuse our environment what were things like right so what are some of the features of our environment or physical landscape and our environment in general so we're talking of course about our rich fertile land talking again again about our beautiful forest our crystal clear waters our golden sunshine and our nice clean atmosphere right so there was once a time when things were almost perfect until we started to experience some drastic changes in our environment now what are some of these changes that we have experienced in recent times all right number one global warming right so what is global warming global warming is the gradual increase in temperatures on the land the sea and also in the atmosphere right so in other words the time has been getting hotter and i'm sure you would have noticed it as well so globally not just in jamaica not just in the caribbean we have been experiencing increase in temperatures right across the world right now how has this happened what has caused global warming global warming is caused basically when the radiation from the sun bounces off the surface of the earth right now under normal circumstances when our atmosphere was clean and without pollution the radiation or the heat would have disappeared into the atmosphere However, because our atmosphere is now polluted by carbon dioxide and other waste gases, other waste material, right? The heat is trapped in the carbon dioxide, so it goes nowhere. So over time, over, over the years, right? The carbon dioxide that is present in our atmosphere has continued to store the radiation or the heat so we are now feeling the effects of this process right so we refer to this as global warming another problem that we experience is acid rain right now acid rain is any rainfall or precipitation that is more acidic than normal rainfall right so what this means is that normal rainfall has some amount of acid however Acid rain is far more acidic than normal rainfall because the acid that is present in normal rainfall uh, measures about 5 to 5.5 on the pH scale while acidic rainfall measures about 4, right? Now, for those who are not um, familiar with the pH scale, the lower the number, the more acidic the water is, right? So, acid rain measures about four on the pH scale. So acid rain is dangerous to plants, right? It is dangerous to animals. It has been damaging our rooftops and it is also dangerous for consumption, right? So if we should drink this kind of water, it will affect us over time, right? So acid rain is another condition that we have seen in recent times and we ask ourselves, where has this come from, right? We have also been experiencing drought more now than before, 
right? So we have seen where droughts, we have been experiencing more droughts in recent times than before. We have seen more incidents of flooding right across Jamaica, right across the Caribbean, right? We have also seen more incidents of landslides, right? And we are also now experiencing food shortage. Now, the big question is, what has caused these things to happen, right? What has caused global warming? What has caused acid rain, the increase in droughts, the increase in flooding, landslide and food shortage? Well, the answers are not far from us. As a matter of fact, I think we would have created most of these, well, all of these problems on ourselves, right? One way in which we have created um, some of these problems, pollution. We have been polluting the land, we have polluting the water, and we have been polluting the air also. Now, let us look on land pollution first of all. When we throw the garbage on the streets, when we fail to dispose of our garbage properly, what are the repercussions? How does it affect us? All of this garbage is washed and piled up in our drains and our gullies, right? Now, when the garbage piles up, it blocks the drains. And when it rains, the water has nowhere to go. So the water continues to rise, right? Resulting in a flood. So we have caused flooding by polluting the land. Land pollution also may lead to rodent infestation, right? Where we see more rats and roaches walking around the place. Land pollution may also affect the tourism industry because nobody wants to come to a dirty country, right? So land pollution has caused many problems for us. Likewise, water pollution, the, sh the oil spills from the ships. We continue to dump our garbage in the water, right? Our factories, um, our hotels, business places, they continue to dump their waste in the rivers and, and the seas. And what it does is that it um, affects our marine life, right? So we will no longer be able to get fish or food from the sea or the rivers, right? Because the, the, our waters are a source of food for us. So water pollution will affect or will lead to food shortage in our country, right? It may also lead to mosquito infestation, right? And, and with that, you know, um, comes many illnesses. We're talking about dengue, chick V, among others, right? Water pollution may also affect our tourism industry, right? Because our, our seas, our river, our seas, sorry, are a part of our beaches and the tourists visit the beach. So if our beaches are polluted, then of course, you know, that is going to have a negative impact on our tourism industry. Air pollution. Air pollution now is basically when we, um, well, the smoke from the factories, the smoke from the cars, we, we burn um, our garbage sometimes and all of that carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere and pollutes the atmosphere. Right Now, when that happens, of course, we learned earlier that the polluted atmosphere will lead to acid rain. The polluted at atmosphere will lead to global warming. Right, So there again is an example of how we have um, caused problems for ourselves. Another way in which we have caused problems for ourselves is by destroying our trees. Right? deforestation right now deforestation is the indiscriminate removal of trees so we, basically when we destroy our trees when we burn down our trees when we cut down too many trees we refer to it as deforestation right so the, for the farmers that are practicing slash and burn right for the persons that are going camping and lighting campfires and then the fires get um the fire get away and and destroy the an, an entire section of the forest that again is deforestation right so deforestation now has led to drought because trees actually promote rainfall right remember that our trees are a part of our um, water cycle and the water um 
the water from our branches actually goes up into the clouds um, as a part of the water cycle. This process is known as transpiration and of course that results in us getting reg regular rainfall. Now if there are no trees or if we continue to destroy our trees that will mean that we will affect the water cycle and we will experience limited or no rainfall resulting of course in drought sometimes right deforestation also leads to food shortage because remember now that our trees are a source of food for us right we get food from our trees we get fruits for, from our trees so if we continue to destroy our trees then of course it will also contribute to the food shortage that we are experiencing right deforestation also leads to soil erosion right because the branches of the trees actually help to prevent soil erosion the branches of the trees actually reduce the speed or the force of the rainfall so when it rains the water the rain is slowed down by the branches of the trees hence preventing soil erosion the roots of the trees also helps to hold the soil together right so when you destroy the tree the trees the, the the soil becomes loose and is easily washed away so we're talking about soil erosion and landslides right um deforestation also affects the amount of oxygen that we are provided with right because our trees provide oxygen for us so when we cut down our trees if you notice in areas like kingston um, and in the town areas where they don't have a lot of trees, the, the, the conditions are usually very humid, right? So they don't have a lot, lot of oxygen. Our trees also help to reduce noise pollution. So when we cut down our trees, we are not doing ourselves any good because we're actually contributing to noise pollution, right? The science behind it is that trees absorb sound. Right, and another way in which we have been contributing to our own problems is by dumping up the swamps, right? We have been dumping up our swamps to facilitate construction, to put up houses, to put up schools, to put up business places, right? Now, when we dump our, our swamps, what we're doing is really blocking off the, the water channels, right? So when we block off the water channels, the water has nowhere to go. And when the water has nowhere to go and it rains, of course, the water will only rise, resulting in flooding, right? When we dump up our swamps, we are also destroying the natural habitat of our endangered species, right? So when we see the crocodiles start to pop up in our backyards and on the roads, we are not supposed to be surprised because we have dumped up their habitat. So, so they will come into ours, right? So... By engaging in all of these activities, we have um, proved, we have seen where we are our own worst enemies. We have been creating most of the problems for ourselves, right? So let us try and preserve what is left of our environment. And please remember, Earth is more valuable than money. That is where we're going to stop for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that you would have learned something from today's class and I will see you in the next class. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to social...